Excuse me, sir. Sir? expect to receive something in return. You know what I've always thought? It takes one good deed at a time, you know? It would act as a, a, a ripple effect. And then this would be passed down from person to person. But, uh, I believe that change is constant. People's lives are going to change whether we help them out or not. That's true, but the help of others determines if it's going to be positive or negative. I never thought of it that way. Most people don't. That's why I've decided to make you an offer. Me an offer? What do you mean? Put a dollar in the cup and I'll tell you how I ended up there. How exactly is that going to help Most people don't realize that everybody has an interesting story and how they ended up where they are. And just by hearing it, can be a major help to the world. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not, I'm not busy. I don't have anything to do. Just listen and you might learn something, Dan. Well, to start off, my name is Robert Morris. It all started. Sorry to cut you off. My name is Malik. Nice to meet you, Robert. I haven't been called Robert in years. It's nice to meet you too, Malik. But it all started when I had got fired from my office job. Basic little box office. Just papers, facts and papers. Yeah, just kissing the boss's ass. At that point, I had enough money to pay my bills and buy some food. I worked a few random small jobs to pay off a couple bills. The worst part, though, was falling behind on rent. I was so desperate I would take any job no matter what the pay was. From recycling bottles to passing out flyers, you name it, I probably did it. So what, so what about your family? My family's pretty much non-existent. I lost my brother when I was 10 in a car accident. And my parents aren't worried about where I am right now. I mean, that's, that's highly disappointing, man. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. 
liking too. When I got to my apartment, I found an eviction notice on my door. All I could think of was pawning some of my stuff so I can try to catch up on rent. Then the alcohol started to take over my life. I was so far behind on the rent and pretty much screwed, I figured I would drink to my heart's content and not care anymore. All I wanted to do was forget about everything. At the rate that I was drinking, it started to seem like as if the days started running into each other. I didn't know what day or time it was. All I wanted to do was drink. I don't know how long I can live like this. A meeting. So hi everybody. Um, my name is Cynthia and I'm an alcoholic. Hi Cynthia. Hard to admit that. Um, this is the first time at this meeting. Um, but I have been in, in and out of AA for years. Recently had a relapse. Um, my boyfriend left me and I got really depressed. I never knew what to expect being in an AA meeting. And, uh, alcohol was my only comfort. I was a little nervous that everyone was going to judge me from so, the beginning. Uh, I'm back. When I get sober, uh, so here I am. Thank you for sharing, Cynthia. We're glad to have you here. Thanks. I see we have a new face in the room. Please, why don't you stand up and tell everyone your name? I, I don't know what to say. It's okay, just... Tell us your name and what you're here for. Okay, um, my name is Robert. Hi, Robert. And I'm here because I think I'm an alcoholic. Welcome, Robert. Just know that you're in a safe environment with everybody here and you can tell us anything. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's give another hand to Robert. Everybody. Going to those AA meetings opened up my whole world. I became so much happier. But that happiness wouldn't last long though. Next thing you know, I was back where I started. Still no job, drinking constantly. If anything, I was probably drinking twice as much now. Weeks passed and the landlord finally decided to kick me out. I had a feeling it was going to happen soon though. Luckily, I had a duffel bag of some of my stuff with me. That's all I could keep though. Everything didn't kick in until a few days later. And that alone threw me into a depression. So with my last little bit of cash I did have, I bought my two best friends. Ever since then, I've been scraping stuff up just to survive. I still got my two best friends, though. You know, I don't understand. I mean, 
alcohol is the main reason for you being in the situation that you're in now. And why is it that you keep drinking? It kills a lot of time, and that's all I really got in life now. It also keeps me warm during these cold nights. I'm not proud of what I've become, or what I've done over the past couple of years. But I do know I'm gonna get back on my feet. It might not be next week. It might not be next month. It might even take years to get to where I need to be. I'm gonna get back on my feet. It's gonna happen. And I believe you, Robert, I really do. Someone once told me that those that think that they're crazy enough to change the world are usually the ones that do. And honestly, you remind me of one of those people. You remember what you said earlier? About what? About the one good deed can change the world. Yeah. Do you really believe in that? Of course. It's been proven over hundreds of years. Meet me at that address tomorrow. Let's say around one o'clock. I may have something for you. God bless you, my brother. Don't think anything of it, man. You know what I've learned from all of this? What's that? It's only after you lost everything, you're free to do anything. You're right. God bless you.